What's up guys, Mickey Motions here and this is a Modern Warfare 3 commentary. This is a very serious one and I'm um, sure you guys must know already. Uh, there's a video going viral and it's got like 30 or more than 30 million views and that's just been in like these last two days. Probably has been the most viral video so far on YouTube that we've ever seen. But anyway, the, the video as you may know is about Kony 2012. And I think it has some good points, but it also has some bad points. And the bad points are really, really bad. But um, these are just my opinions. And if you hate on it, then that's your choice. I can't make you, you know, change your mind. I'm not gonna be uh, changing your mind just because from my videos. You have your own views. I have mine. So um, first of all, I just want to say. Kony 2012 has very good intentions. I think it's one of the best ideas I've ever heard. I mean, the way the video went viral was kind of good, but it had so many bad points in it. But I got into that a bit later. But um, I really think it was a really good idea. I think if the community can, you know, work together as one and try and get the word spread, then um, you know it, it would be good. You know, for the Ugandan people. I mean, it's. Uh, it's just so bad for the Ugandan children. You really feel sorry for them, especially with that Jacob guy who, um, you know, he was crying in the video. It was just so sad. He's feeling so sorry for him. And um, I really think Kony really is a sick man. And I think we have to stop him now. Um, even, I know people saying, you know, it's a bit late, but he really does have to be stopped because we need to show people that. This this kind of thing can just not happen again. We can, we can't let this happen again. We won't let this happen again, actually. And um, I think if we work as one as a community, then we will be better off like this. However, saying that, however, their finances are not too good at all. Uh, there's a link in uh, the description showing this that out of the eight million dollars that are being given to the Ugandan people only 38 percent is actually give, being given to the the actual Ugandan people which is shocking and the fact that they're not even showing all of their financial data is even more damning because none of the other charities are actually doing this all the charities actually show their full financial data and when a charity doesn't do this, it's a complete no-no. You just know it's going to be a scam. And before people start saying, oh, this can't be true. Well, it's, the evidence is showing us that this is true. And to those who are actually sharing this Kony video on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube even. I mean, do these people actually realize that it's not ha actually helping the Ugandan people? It is not helping them at all. If you want to help them out, you, you got to donate to them. But that's only if you're stupid enough to send your money to a scam. Now remember, if a charity is doing something good, they should have nothing to hide. Oh wait, they're hiding their financial data. Oh, and guess what? The 38% that I was talking about, well, 35% of that money is actually going to 800 students, which is like... It's, they're basically building schools and stuff like that for just for people to get education now that is not a bad thing but the fact that it's only helping out 800 people and it's not actually helping to stop Kony is a really really bad thing and that's just simply because they're lying what's the point of actually lying to the viewers if you're gonna make a charity you tell the truth no charity actually lies Remember, like I said, a good charity has nothing to hide. But guess what? It's not just the data that is bad. It's the fact that they're lying. And it's the fact that they're using propaganda as well. They are brainwashing people. They are telling people to go on Facebook and, you know, share share this message out to stop Kony, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's use an example from Kapal. He said that one time he's a Ugandan friend and let's say, he, you know, they went on a plane and he showed them pictures of 9-11. Now obviously, 
the Ugandan man obviously had no clue of what happened in America. He only sees these pictures and he thinks, oh my gosh, when I get there, I'm only going to see that everything is destroyed and he's just going to be so scared about <laughs> being on the plane. And when he actually gets to New York, he finds out that people aren't screaming. He finds out that everything's changed. He sees that everything's being rebuilt. And it's the same thing with the Ugandan, the Ugandan people. Okay, there's still going to be problems, but there's still going to be things that are going to be changed. But it still doesn't mean we should ignore Kony and we shouldn't ignore what he did. Because obviously what he did was a really bad thing and he should get caught for it. We really should get him. But the way that this is being done is really stupid. And I really don't like it at all. And to say that to help the people out now in 2012 is so misleading. Because this happened many years ago and there's not going to be as much of a threat as there was before. And the fact that so many kids, thousands of thousands of kids have been affected. And to know that only people only care about it now is just so annoying. You know, once again, it's just so misleading. It's just so annoying because... You just wish that people will actually help people, not just for the money, not just for anything. They will just actually help them just because they are human, just because they actually care. Now, the financial data is not just the only problem. There's also rumours that they're going there just to start another war. Yes, another war, just like Iraq, just like what happened in Iraq. They're going to go over there and try and get some oil. And guess what? It's the US government controlling people again. They tried to do that with SOPA, they tried to do that with ACTA. Now I'm hoping that people actually realise that this Coney thing is fake. Because if we actually move towards together and we actually show to the American government that this is we, that this is fake and we don't believe none of this bullshit, then none of this will happen. We can stop this from happening. But I don't think it will happen because people have just been brainwashed too much. And this propaganda thing has just been done too well. Coney applause you because you have brainwashed every single guy and girl that has watched that video and that's a big shame because when I watched that 30 minute video I thought everything was going to be alright I thought this is finally a big change in the world where we'll find world peace but I guess it's not going to happen I guess we're just going to start another war just make things worse for the Ugandan children just like they did with the people in Iraq but yeah enough about me ranting I just want to say thanks to Scott Keenick my friend who let me use this gameplay and um, yeah please like favorite and comment and subscribe if I'm subscribed already this is a really deep topic I hope you guys don't hate on it and you know this is just my opinion I respect you if you don't uh, agree with my opinion but it's my opinion so you have to respect it thanks for watching this is Mickey Motions see ya